Hey guys, so let me quickly explain what the number 88 in the films Donnie Darko and Back to the Future refers to. So first of all, I'll show Donnie Darko. So his last name is Darko, which is a play on words because an annular eclipse, like the one on October 2nd, resembles a dark O. And the events in that film actually begin on October 2nd, 1988. Uh, which is the same month and day as the upcoming annular eclipse. Uh, so primarily the character Donnie Darko actually represents that that ring eclipse coming up on uh, October 2nd. Uh, but he also plays the role of another eclipse as I'll show in a moment. So at the beginning of the film Donnie sleepwalks to a nearby golf course where a man in a bunny suit tells him that the world will end in 28 days, 6 hours, 42 minutes and 12 seconds. And as most of you are probably aware, those numbers add up to 88. So what does this 88 actually mean? Well, just before he sleepwalks to this golf course, in the scene where he's getting up out of bed, they show some pretty obvious eclipse symbolism because they use Donnie's head to obscure uh, this lamp behind his head, like this. So obviously here they want to show us a solar eclipse, but there's more than that because they have Donnie lean forward in this awkward pose here so that his back lines up with these blankets to form a line. Uh, now it's kind of hard to see in this picture here, so I brightened the image a little bit. And now you can see that that line actually matches the path of totality of the first great American eclipse, you know, the one that occurred back in August of 2017. So with the scene, they're showing you that eclipse. And right when he gets up, they reinforce that because right after they show that 27, uh, 2017 eclipse, they show the American flag just to reinforce the fact that they're showing you that first great American eclipse. Okay, so at that point, he goes to the golf course and uh, meets the man in the funny suit and he tells him that he, and he gives him this number 88 and you know Donnie Darko represents primarily that 10 to eclipse so the meaning of the 88 is that uh, between this eclipse here this first great American eclipse and the upcoming October 2nd annual or annular eclipse uh, the moon actually goes around the Earth exactly 88 times. And that's the reason why he's given the numbers that add up to 88 by this bunny at the golf course. And the reason that the number 88 is spread out like this into days, hours, minutes, and seconds uh, was explained to me by a brother on Twitter named Blank Check. And it's because this is the format that lunar periods are usually given in. Uh, for instance, a lunar month is on average 28 days 12 hours, 44 minutes, and 3 seconds, which, by the way, also adds up to 88. But they couldn't use those numbers because that would, that would have been way too obvious that they were talking about a lunar period. So they just mixed up the numbers a little bit, but uh, the numbers still add up to 88. So that's the clue that they're talking about a lunar period. So, and like I said, the 88 gives you the number of lunar periods uh, between those two eclipses. So it's 88... Uh, revolutions of the moon around the earth between the first great American eclipse and the October 2nd annual eclipse and according to this film that's when the world will end all right so that was how Donnie Darko was using a count of moon revolutions around the earth to point to this upcoming ring eclipse on October 2nd and so now let me show you how back to the future is pointing to this exact same time period but using a slightly different method Okay, so listen to this dialogue right here. My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious shit. All right, so he says when this baby hits 88 miles per hour. So first of all, he says baby there, and that's not just chosen randomly. What they're doing with that word is they're referring to the Revelation 12 sign that occurred uh, on September 23rd, 2017, where the baby was born out of the womb of Virgo, the baby being Jupiter. So, and that occurred around the time of the new moon. I think the new moon was like the 21st or the 20th of September. 
So then when Doc Brown says, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, all that is is a moon count from the Revelation 12 sign, you know, when, when the baby was born, okay? So, yeah, all you have to do is count the number of moons from that sign. So I have this spreadsheet here that shows uh, in this column all of the new moons starting in 2017. And so this row right here corresponds to the Revelation 12 sign because this is the new moon of September 20th. And the Revelation 12 sign was like, you know, two or three days later. So once, once that sign occurred, uh, we're going one mile per hour, right, so to speak. Okay, and then when you get to the next new moon, which was on October 19th, 2017, you're going two miles per hour, and so on and so forth. Okay, and so by the time you get to October 2nd, 2024, you're going 88 miles per hour. So that's when this baby reaches 88 miles per hour. So you can see that Donnie Darko and Back to the Future are pretty much doing the same thing. The only difference is that Donnie Darko is doing a moon revolution count starting at the first great American eclipse of August 2017 and ending at that um, October 2nd annual eclipse, which corresponds to the 89th new moon. So that means that the moon revolved around the Earth exactly 88 times between those two dates. So that, that's the 88 that that rabbit is referring to in Donnie Darko. Whereas Back to the Future, on the other hand, is starting at the Revelation 12 sign one month later and then using this miles per hour concept so they can say once you get to that October 2nd 2024 eclipse that instead of having completed 88 you've reached 88 uh, in other words you've reached 88 miles per hour and by the way this doesn't necessarily mean that right when this eclipse occurs you know immediately big events are gonna happen you know, uh, it could be two days later, it could be a week later, who knows. But these films definitely seem to be pointing at this October 2nd eclipse as you can look at it as like a starting line for events. The gospel is the good news of how Jesus Christ, who is the Son of God, came to this earth to die on the cross for our sins. He was buried and then he rose again three days later. He did this to give us eternal life in heaven and to save us from hell. The Bible says in Acts 16.31, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Once you're saved, you're always saved. Jesus said in John 6.47, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me hath everlasting life. So to be saved from hell and to have the gift of eternal life, you must trust Christ alone. 